What is up, friends and family? Today is Monday. We are back at it. Back from vacation. Re-energized, rejuvenated. And we're, we're here to work. Got Vicky over here. What's up, Vicky? Doing some fiberglass work? Yeah. Uh, yeah? How was your weekend? Sick. Who got you sick? I mean, my friends were sick. Oh, your parents were sick? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, because I was sick. I was just hoping I didn't get you sick. Hold on, let me turn up. Hold on, let me turn up the radio. Carl, hit the radio, please. Your parents were sick, Vicky? Yeah. That sucks. I was sick, and I still went on vacation. We went with a bunch of antibiotics, some Tylenol, and some Mucinex. Got Carlos over here, fixing Vicky's mess. What did Vicky do? Bent the hood. Bent the hood. Got my cousin over here. <laughs> Damn, that was quick, Carl. You fix that thing quick. Yeah. So this week we're gonna take in and then we'll push out by within a couple weeks. Trust me, it doesn't stay like this long. Let's see how long we have parking for. Alright YouTube, today's motivation is a 2020 Hyundai Sonata. And what are we doing? We're doing a bumper replacement and that's about it, and we're gonna be documenting everything. Mr. Carlos, look at this. So how do we get the color? We don't really trust the paint company too much on a standard mix, so what helps us out a little bit in our experience is to send the gas cap. The rule of thumb when you send paint is you wanna send something metal, but unfortunately this one's plastic. But we're gonna send it anyway because it matches pretty good. And where do we get the paint code from? It's usually in the door jam. Right on the VIN sticker. Where it says paint VU, that's the paint code right there. We do this Labor Day weekend. Work. <laughs> you worked? Yeah, no. <laughs> I was on vacation. Well, here's something funny. So we get to the, the resort and we leave because, you know, we, it was Friday, I worked till 1. By the time I got home and packed and everything, we got on the road about 6.30. And at that time, it was rush hour. It was about a four-hour drive to Bonita Springs. So we get there around 11, and we're tired. So we get there, we get the room. My buddy, my buddy was already there. He was about there for like half an hour. And we had connecting rooms because that was the plan. So we get there, and uh, we get to our room. My buddy's on the right of us, right? He's already in his room. He's in connecting. So he's, he's with us. And there's a door that's open on the left, because I guess they left it open. And you know, like say you have room service, you have that little clicker, the, the stopper if somebody tries to break into your room. Well, if you open it and you leave it out, it leaves the door open, that's how the guy had it. So, uh, me and my buddy's wife go into the room, and then for some reason, Ingrid and Steve, they go into the other one. And then, it's funny, because all you hear is, Hoo! and then uh, they come storming into the room, they like burst the door, and they're like, oh my gosh. That was somebody's room. They left it open, and the guy was sleeping. So imagine you, you're, because uh, you know, because we split, right? And you put on the light, and then they put on the light, and then they had a rude awakening that the guy was sleeping, and they ran in. Then the guy reported us, oh, yeah. and then yeah, and we had it was just a big misunderstanding. That's what happened. So if my vlog didn't make sense. My vlog 15 didn't make sense. That was the story. That's pretty crazy. So all right. So here's the bumper. The bumper spot. So we got brand new bumper. And we're gonna scuff this bad boy. A little combo we're gonna teach you guys. All right. So we're gonna start with some 3M600 to give it a nice sand, and then we're gonna hit it with like a gray scuff. All right, we got Carlos breaking down the Nissan Versa. Damn, this shit hit hard. Damn. Ah, oh, come on. Frame machine, our, our freaking frame machine is down. And if you guys would have seen on vlog three, we were been supposed to. It's a long story, but we were supposed to fix it. 
and we did like a partial fix and still not fixed so now we have to fix holy this might be total no not total don't say that look at the frame rail yeah you look at the apron breakdown car tuesday what is a world what's today wednesday and we are vlogging let's let's see what's going on today in the a-class world so this is for the sonata so i'm gonna explain what we what we did what what this look you're seeing so what we do is we we go over it with a uh, 600 grit sandpaper and a lot of people would use like a red scuff but a red scuff's a little too heavy for something like this there's a lighter version it's called a gray scuff pad let me show you what that is so 3m makes makes it it's a scotch bright it's ultra fine it's gray that's what we call gray scuff so we use this and we go over all the edges with it so to make sense out of this so all your flat parts like here you'd go over with a 600 and then the gray scuff you'd go in here uh, there's so much moving parts at the shop so I wish I would have got to film this while I was getting sanded but I did not so it's ready for the booth so I will be filming it getting painted though so we're gonna do the whole process of this one from start to finish so at least you guys get to see the process the man of the hour Mr. Vicky he's gonna be painting He's gonna be painting this. I don't have my mic on, so hopefully you guys can hear me. He's gonna be doing the full paint job. We'll have Carlos installed. So, here we go. When I see you dancing, I'm like, hola, 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 hola. With your move fancy, make me wanna holla, 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 holla. I got your attention, spending that mula, 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 mula. I'm a jump up in practice, swolla, 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 swolla. Swolla, 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 swolla. All right, Just hope you guys can hear me. Looks good, nice and clear, nice and glossy, no runs, no dirt. Just how it's supposed to be. So let's go through some go through some stuff. So on this one, we use a different uh, paint. We usually use a Mipa. I love the Mipa. But on this one we went with uh, Roberlo. And so this I believe is a one-to-one -one mixing ratio. And uh, we use it with the grow slow reducer. And then for our clear coat, what we use is the HB Body 691. And then we have the the normal and the fast hardener but on this one we did the fast because it works awesome and you can really build up the the gloss level on it so that's what we use what is up world let me focus this bad boy today is thursday and we are vlogging let's check this out people work too fast i was trying to get the whole production on the sonata but greg came in at 10 30 and Carlos got here at 8.40 and he threw the bumper on. But it's okay. That's how it looks. Look at this car. Ooh, it's not really got my license plate. That's how she looks. Not bad. Well, how does it look on camera? No. Here we go. Looking good. <laughs> Mr. Vicky right there. We got Carlos. With Vicky in the booth. Now Carlos has a detail. But detailing's fun. Very peaceful. 
All right, you remember about like four vlogs ago, we were doing the vlog on the on the Supra. Still sitting here collecting dust. And I put a vlog out if I wanted, to, if you guys wanted me to redo the Brembos. And a lot of people said, no, if they're not real Brembos, don't redo them. Just do them up and then do like a Toyota racing. So I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it to bring this beauty back. So we'll see. We have a month until she has to be delivered, so that's the goal. All right, we got Vicky in the booth. Hi, right, Vicky. Man, this is loud as hell. So we're getting, we're getting the F-150 ready. All right, we got this bad boy right here. We, Vicky just painted. It was the first one, so we're doing two today. There's number one. It's easy. There's a bumper and a quarter. Yeah, not bad. A little blend, bumper. So we'll be putting that together tomorrow. All right, I'm gonna show you guys something special. It's happening. It's happening. Here we go. Let me flip this camera around real quick. All right, check this out. That means parts are coming. So for the Evo. These are the parts that I need, all the highlighted ones, to do the repair. We have all this. We don't have this. These are all special ordered. So parts are starting to show up because we have one part of the frame. So that right here is this part right there. So that one part. So now we just need the outer and inner apron, the outer and inner frame rail. Once we got that, we're ready to partake. So once we get that, that's it. We are ready to start on the Evo. And let me show you another thing. This is pretty exciting. I don't know if you guys followed us from the first vlogs. The frame machine was down. So today, we just got the frame machine fixed. So the frame machine is now working. Everything, fully, 100%. We've always, you know, every time we, we fixed a frame machine, it was always one pillar. Or there was always something that didn't work. The port of power, the, the piece to jack up the cars. But now everything works on this. Right, Carlos? Very nice, Carlos. Yeah. It's really hard to vlog and people watch. I like to vlog in the corner by myself. So. Once, once all these pieces come, it's Evo 10 time. We're gonna show you something special, man. I wish I could have been vlogging since I was doing my eights and nines and all that stuff, but eight years later, doing this for a long time, I decided to start documenting all this stuff. So, it's cool. Better late than never. All right, I'm glad my sound is on. But yeah, I'm excited. So that means parts are coming. Everything's supposed to be here by September 15th. But I uh, just called Mitsubishi to double check on some stuff and they forgot to order a bunch of stuff. So we'll see, we'll see how fast. I gave them a hard time and we'll see how fast they could get it, if they could get it from other dealerships, but they have to order it overseas. This is gonna push the build a little bit longer, but good thing is we're starting to get some pieces and the frame machine works so we can start a dry pull and see where we need to be. So that's good news. Good news, YouTube. I tell you, the booth sounds so cool with this when it turns up like. Yeah, I think he did. So, you're probably wondering why Vicky's doing all the paint work. My dad just had eye surgery. Well, it sounds bad. It sounds worse than it is, but uh, yes, he had a little eye procedure and that puts him out of the, actually, that puts him out for a little bit, close up to two months, and Greg has bronchitis. So, I can't paint, so it's all Vicky right now. 
I can't paint for a couple weeks unless they really need me and then I'll do it but they don't need me there's no reason to hurt myself until I'm fully recovered so that's what's going on over here all right today is Friday and we are vlogging we are we're doing a little special one today we're doing the, the Supra we did a, a little uh From TLC yeah yeah Mr. Angel, we're doing the Supra caliper, Mr. Angel over here, because they didn't come out too good. My dad did them; he was gonna let them go like that, so he's out today. So we're we're doing a fast one on him, taking apart his calipers before he gets here. I'm gonna redo them from start to finish. Did they come out easy? Have the lines come out pretty easy? Yeah, they came out pretty good. Good. Look at that. It's a 98. It should. The 93s probably come out rusty. Let's check on what's going on with, the, with everything. All right, this car is nice and dry. The Chevy Cruze. Smooth. Let's check out. Nice. Glass level is on point. Oh, nice. Very nice. Beautiful. So this one's special because this front lip right here is the last of our <laughs> custom work. We don't do too much custom work anymore. We kind of retired from all this stuff. Custom game is a young man's game. We're, we're too old for this stuff. All you young shops out there, custom works for you. We'll, we'll stay doing the, the insurance claims and the easy stuff. So that's what we do. That's probably the last of our custom work. That lip and then the uh, the Corvette, and we tap, and we are done. Uh, in our in our industry, custom is very hard and very finicky, and it's not something that we wanted to stay doing. We did it for a level, actually did it for like over 15 years, but I don't know, it was fun when we were doing the car show scene and all that stuff. But as the car show scene finished, and uh, we just wanted to get out of it and get into something a little bit more beneficial to the shop and something better for our lane. So that's the reason why we got out of custom. When more vlogs, I will, you will get to see why. So, yeah, so this is the end of it. And once we finish this, we are all done with our custom work. This is why we don't do custom. <laughs> we got a rig ship. Gotta use a, a dry wood screw. 
a washer, and, and a moon, uh, and a, and a, a lineman. Lineman. <laughs> <laughs> So I listen to you guys. You guys said don't put the Brembos unless they're real. They're not real. So we're gonna bring these bad boys back. I got them off. Switch this around really quick. All right, so I got them off. Oh, Angel took them off and took them out perfect. So we're gonna sand them down, re-sticker them, and re-clear coat them. So that's for next week. So we're, and we're gonna re-clear these, put the tires back on, and get this bad boy back on the floor. So that's motivation. All right, so these are the calipers right here. We're gonna be sanding this down to bare metal, repriming, taking out the Brembos and re-stickering because they're not real Brembos. So we're gonna put the old school Supra logo on there. And that's what comes factory. So we're gonna put it back factory. We got more recording this week. Got Vicky in the booth. We're gonna get Vicky next week in the booth. Maybe you get me in the booth too. We'll see, I am feeling a little bit better. Not too much congestion. But, yeah, so we'll see. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I try to film as much as I can. And like the saying goes, like, comment, subscribe. And, yeah, drop a comment. Drop it. So, yeah, and I will see you guys next week. And, yeah, we got more for you. So, we got a pack shop. We got more cars coming in next week. So, we'll capture it. Hopefully more parts for the Evo comes in because when the Evo comes in, this bad boy is going to start. You're going to see the real vlog. That's the reason why I've been doing this. Wish I'd been doing it six, seven years ago when I when I did all the my eights and nines and stuff. But it's all good. We're here right now. And I don't care. So, compressor is pushing out all the air. And hopefully it doesn't kill my son. So, thank you, YouTube. Again, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate your guys' time uh, watching my vlog. Trust me. Saturday mornings, every new vlog comes out. Uh, I was on vacation last week, so I put it out a little late, but I'm going home right now and start editing. So I will see you guys next time. I appreciate appreciate you guys. Just want to tell you that. Thank you. Take care.